Welcome to Network Security Introduction Part 5, where I will be talking about DDoS attacks or Distributed Denial of Service attacks. As the name indicates, when we have a Distributed Denial of Service attacks, um, it's a Denial of Service attack, meaning that we are leaving the attack machine or the attack system so that, that it cannot, so that it is unavailable and it cannot perform the duties that it would normally perform. This is most often done by sending a lot of requests from all over the world, so that is why it's, why it's called distributed. So sending a request to that machine uh, all at the same time. This can be a legitimate request, for example, for a website, or it can be um, a illegitimate request. It really doesn't matter. The thing is that the server or the system will receive so many requests that it's unable to answer them. Um, this uh, such an attack will usually be centrally coordinated, uh, but it doesn't have to be in real time. So it can be that you have control of a lot of machines and you're telling them at that time, at that particular time, send these kind of requests to that particular machine and they will all be attacking at the same time. Quite often, these are uh, this can be quite heavy. So it can be between 50 and 100 gigabits per second, but you can see reports of, of, uh, of attacks with up to 400 gigabit of data per second, so that's really a large amount of data. In the figure here, you can also see um, a sketch of how it can be done. So you have the attacker, which is standing behind it all, who through a number of handlers is taking control of all the zombies who are then attacking the victim at the same time. There are a couple of, of recent examples. Um, there are the big examples like Visa, Mastercard, PayPal, who has been attacked. But, but there is also a story about a Danish, um, a Danish school where the school kids, they didn't want to, to, uh, to do a national test that all school kids in Denmark have to do. So they decided to launch a DDoS attack on their school at that particular time and day. And in fact, they managed to, uh, to interrupt the, the exam and the test not only at their own school, but in 27 schools and they managed to lay down a total of 7,000 computers. And these were just school kids who, who managed to buy it online. And when talking about buying it online, it should be noted that it's actually quite cheap to do and it's very easy to do. Um, so uh, there are different sites, I will not mention any names, where you can go and then you can really uh, pay by credit card or by bitcoins. And then you just click and you can launch the attack, decide how many computers uh, should participate in the attack uh, so how large a cannon you're shooting with and also how long time it should take to do it. And, and one, of the, one of the challenges with this kind of attacks is that it's really, really easy to do and it's very hard to, to mitigate. So now it's time to take quiz number four. Thank you very much for following.